There's your cup of tea, brother. Wasn't the missus on the phone, it was the Ting of Tigers. They want to put aside the knockout next year. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That sounds good, eh? Yeah, so bring the next generation of boys through. Nice. But talking about the next generation, T, of some advice for the for the younger kids, you know, is you know, um, about smoking. What, what age did you start smoking at? Yeah, I was a very young age, um, bro. Uh, you know, it was, it was something that was silly to do. Um, it was something I regretted that I that I done. And, you know, for me, it was it was a hard habit to kick, and um, you know, I'm, I'm glad I did it now. What would you say now to like the young Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander kids? that are trying to quit smoking? Yeah, look, the first thing I'd tell them is that, you know, if you want to have a, a long life and a healthy lifestyle, you know, don't, don't smoke, you know. If you are smoking, kick it now. Kick it to the curb right now because, yeah, you know, we're very lucky and fortunate to, to have a, a great professional career and both in premierships and, and you've had a, you know, a, a great career in, in, in both sports, you know, union and league. And what are some of the options for, these, for this young generation to, to not take up smoking? For us, you know, it was, it was playing sports and being around our mates. You know, we were very sporty uh, fellows when we were young. Uh, so, you know, we're pretty lucky there. But, uh, you know, for the kids that are out in the outback, it may be just going for a ride on your bike. Um, or it gets, it gets hot some days, so, you know, go for a swim around the river. You know, back when you was playing for the nights, did you see, like, a noticeable difference in your fitness and when you was training and when you was playing? Yeah, look, it took me, it took me a good couple of months to really get back to, to peak fitness and that, you know, and oh, I had the cravings there, you know, and... And that's, that's when I knew I had a problem, you know, but after a while I, I realised that my fitness was getting better, my breathing cycle was getting better, and mainly when I was doing the long runs or we were doing swimming and stuff. Yeah. And then, uh, then I realised that when I got to a certain level, I thought, well, that's it, I can't go back to that again. It's too, way too hard, you know? And um, like I said, I'm very thankful that I, that I quit at a young age and, and um, didn't keep doing it. Tell you, talk about keeping healthy and keeping fit, brother. Why don't we go out here and I'll show you these five acres, let's try and catch a goanna, eh? Hey, I see you've got a big bushland here, eh? Any yabbies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to help you quit smoking and stay quit for good, speak to one of our Quitline advisors on 13 7848 or visit iconquit.com.au.